Manhattan. Stay tuned. Watch it right now. Here we go. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Sherman. That's Ian Andrews, and we're going to make you a wi no, no, whiskey sour. A, man a Manhattan. Do you want a whiskey sour after this? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I was going to make a whiskey sour, but we I was going with the videos to push to 4K that we didn't create recently, and the whiskey sour wasn't that long ago. Right. So I figured I'll wait until later for that one. Sounds um, good. The recipe, oh, our executive producer is the guy in the channel that's impatient. Arthur Manicus. <laughs> you are executive producer because I forgot to put one for this episode. Happy National Donut Day. November 5th is National Donut Day. Is it? Yeah. I don't need a day. Okay. I don't That's need right. an official day. That's true. Yeah. You just need donuts all the days. All the days. Um, all, all the donuts. Uh, here's the breakdown. We're making Manhattan. It's going to be two ounces of bourbon or rye. We chose rye because... Because um, it's classic. Because it's classic and it's kind of probably what came first. It's like a chicken or egg and it's it was what first. Yeah. Uh, what the classic recipe calls for right. rye, so... So we're gonna go two ounces of rye, one ounce of Seven. sweet vermouth, two dashes of Angostura bitters. What's wrong? Two dashes. No, I just spit everywhere. Else. Uh, one dash of orange bitters and a uh, brandied cherry. Oh, do we have a brandied cherry? That's a good question. We may have it at Luxardo. No! Look, do you have a brandied cherry? Where's my brandy cherry? You got everything else back here. All right, we'll jump cut before the end for the brandy cherry. Of course we will. Uh, Who doesn't I love have, a jump cut? Yeah, because I have brandy cherries, and I was going to get some out of the store at awesomedrinks.com, where you can use holiday 2020 and save 20% off until the end of December. Uh, that's not what it says. Oh, that's the last That's last month. I have it in my head. <laughs> um, so if you're watching on the live stream, there's another coupon you can code you can use before October 22nd. Yeah. You're taking it from the store? Yeah. I'll just have to decorate it before I sell it. I think Jim just uh, saved us a jump cut. You yeah. did. No jump cut. You've earned your producer uh, role Sweet. today. So <laughs> We'll be using Jack Rudy cocktail uh, uh, Enco bourbon oh, cocktail cherries. Keep up the good work. $20. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Jensen. Um, a little bit of history for this one. Well, there's history for this one, but the instructions that we went through. Take a coupe. Austrix.com. You can then chill it with water and ice. That'll get it so it doesn't take warm warm uh, heat and suck all the chill that you just stirred into your drink. That will suck. So what you're gonna do, throw it all into a mixing glass, oh, but also drink's not gonna, and stir it for what? Thir uh, is it like yeah, two minutes? I'd say 15 seconds, but I mean, you can stir it however long you want. I think, it's, I think technically it's supposed to be like two minutes. Yeah, it, it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna reach a temperature equilibrium, so the, the ice starts diluting and you get like your, I don't wanna say optimal, but your, like a uh, ter your terminal dilution, right? Yeah, so about 20%. Yeah, and it's gonna stop, the, the ice is gonna stop melting once you reach the <laughs> temperature. And, and then if it keeps melting, it just creates dilution. Right, so if you start it for 15 minutes, you're probably gonna have a diluted drink, but yeah. it's if gonna you're take a long for time 15 to minutes additional dilution. And you are at a bar, you have customers, they're gone. Yeah, this is no Ramos Jim yeah. Fizz, yeah, friends. I was gonna say, you're making the wrong drink. Yeah. <laughs> Does that look good on the camera? It's the first yeah. shot of the night. It's something going into the recipe book, correct? Or the yeah, recipe Yeah, it has to be so a good shot. It has to be good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm guessing, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing Stephen Arthur. I know the characters are Waldorf and. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, Statler and Waldorf, but I'm picturing the two Muppets sitting in the balcony. Statler and oh. Waldorf. <laughs> that, that that is probably that is probably true. Yeah. And then Arthur will say something, and then the crowd will make a noise or whatever. Yeah. Just like this, uh, we, we just need a laugh track. I do love Manhattan. It's sweet. I do love sweet. Yeah. It's got a little bit of like a sweet... Uh, Manhattan is sweet. Really? Sweet vermouth. Yeah. Rye is a little musky, spicy rye. Mm, uh, musky. Is it overproofed? We, oh, it is. Yeah, it's, it's a little, little overproof. overproof. So it's a little strong. But which, it's still really good. If you, I, I don't it, think yeah. you can go wrong with Manhattan unless you really mess it up. If you well, go to you a know. bar with, where they serve their Manhattans with the bright... Red cherries. Yeah. Get something else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Send it back and order something else. Yes. Well, drink it. Be curious. <laughs> Be curious. But learn from your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's a legit thing. <laughs> yeah, you be should drink patron. it. No need to be a dick. Right. I mean, you should drink it. Experience it for all it is and yes. all it isn't. Yes. And then make one at home. Could, save yourself money. Because, you know, you can't realize how good a Manhattan is until you realize how bad a Manhattan can be. 
True. It's That's all about true. contrast. If it and if it comes to like in a in a big glass, right? If it comes in a, a highball glass or a pint glass, well, oh, that was your old fashioned, the old fashioned from that uh, yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah they, they're, they're, you can go on YouTube and find shit, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, the old fashioned where you it's like in a big pint. It's in a, it's in a yeah, it's in a it's pint glass and it was Jack Daniels and yeah. crushed oranges and cherries. And so. This drink is around 1880 in its original birth time period in New York City's Manhattan Club, or so the story goes. Um, this should be fairly identical to that. Now, it's morphed and changed, and you can find different variations to it. The different types of bitters, the cherries might be different. I think the biggest thing that would probably be the key difference from what you would have got in 1880 would be your, your whiskey. It's probably not going to be exactly the same. And then if you had it during Prohibition, you were probably drinking Canadian rye because that's what they can get into the country. Which we could have done. We, we could have done. We could have went with the Prohibition style Manhattan. But. But we didn't. Canadian whiskey is. Uh, from Canada. Which are not far from. No. And I don't want to be disparaging of it because I know there's fans of Canadian whiskey out there, but I'm not one. <laughs> <laughs> there's another good reason. It's all going to be whiskey focused. So you want to have a whiskey you enjoy. Otherwise, you're defeating kind of a little bit of the purpose. I'll, I'll often get it with Maker's Mark, uh, which is not a rye, but it's a whiskey. Yeah. Just because I think it's smooth and sweet and it complements the... Uh, if you're at a bar. Well. Yeah, if I'm at a bar. They probably have Maker's Mark. Yeah. They might not have Knob Creek or whatever you choose. It's pretty well done. Yeah. Um, you can find it documented in 1948. David Embry, who was a author making cocktail books, buddy, I think was like a lawyer. All fours, let's go. Oh. All fours. <laughs> Just, you're, you're gonna. Yeah, you're, you're not even close scoot. to being. <laughs> I'm gonna do the scoot. Oh look, other people finally have showed up. Other people who can sit in front of the camera and yell with me. That way we know the volume's the right level. Because there was a volume check saying it was too quiet, and I was like, no. I'm just not yelling. All the time. And this yeah. could have been a good stirring test, but yeah, this drink, oh, this was going to be the Dan stir bummer. test, and and the only drink that I had to stir this we, month, I put it in. I was like, oh, we should this do some is stirred margaritas. Oh, we should man. make them stir like five margaritas. Yeah. No, that's no. not the way. <laughs> you don't want to teach people incorrectly. As long as we point out that this is the wrong way of doing it, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, what stirring or <laughs> it, all of those things? Man, uh, margaritas. Margarita ing, it's yeah, now a verb. It is. So pick up your Jack Rudy cocktail cherries. These are bourbon cocktail cherries, oh. so they're going to be infused with bourbon. They taste like the oakiness of a bourbon, unlike uh, what we normally sh what you put in like tiki and everything else would be like Luxardo maraschino cherries, super sweet, syrupy. These the, not the same. Those are pretty common at a good bar, and they'll put those near Manhattan too. So that's not. Oh yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, a reason yeah. to walk away from the bar. They're, <laughs> true. Yeah. These are perfectly good point. You, if you see them, put these oh. in a drink. Don't be like, Derek said, that's bullshit. No, no that is those acceptable. Aren't those are it's just quality. There is two separate styles of products. Awesome drink, so Both of these are okay. available. These are only cherries I sell. I don't sell that red shit, red number 40 bullshit. Yeah, you can get that at the grocery store. No, yeah, yeah. two bucks. Um, no, these, the difference is- on shipping with those things. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you, uh, <laughs> that's true. If you get Jack Rudy and you put them in your mouth thinking it's gonna be super sweet and like brown sugar, no, it tastes like bourbon. So, there could be a surprise there. So it synergizes very well with a drink that is yes. rye and bourbon -y stuff. Quite right. Um, so that's it. Go get your bitters, awesome drinks, and everything here. It's, yeah. like, it's like a promo ad. It is. At this point. Um, subscribe to the show if you haven't already. There's probably a little, what do they call those things that fly up the side? Banners? No. Uh, flybys? Ticker? No. Yeah. It's, it's got a name. It does. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, click on the thingy. Yeah. Comment. You, you, you can't actually click on it, but you can subscribe. Yeah, that. Uh, bug? Maybe they call it a bug that slides across? No. That's all right. Fine. Sidebar, more videos, probably bourbon and rye related. Snail? Uh, classic. Snail? It goes slow. It's, if, even if it went slow, it's that doesn't change the name of the thing. Okay. Um, marquee. Oh, like, down below. A marquee. <laughs> there is a marquee. That's another one. That was like, yeah. That's, that's not what I was thinking of. Um, <laughs> down below is the Ostrich Project <laughs> Starter Kit. Use the coupon code. HTML. <laughs> Where are we going with that? We're teaching you how to drink. JavaScript, JavaScript Marquee. 